Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker with Camping World and today we're going to go over the Coleman 215BH. This is a great bunk model. It's nice and short so you're able to get to a lot of different places and it has everything you need without having to worry about slides or anything else so you have full access to a refrigerator and a bathroom if you have to stop somewhere for a break. Let's start off right over here on the kitchen. Uh, now, you may not have a ton of countertop space here, but what they did give you instead is a very large double bowl sink. You see the big bowl on the left here, a little bit smaller on the right, making it nice and easy to wash and rinse dishes. And they gave you a full three burner cooktop. Uh, most times in a travel trailer this size, you'll have a single bowl sink and the double burner, but here they did give you a little more residential galley area. Uh, you also have the high-rise faucet, which makes it nice and easy to wash and rinse those big pots and pans. Directly behind that's a window, so you have some natural light during the day. LED light right up top here, so you have light at night. If you need to plug in a toaster, blender, coffee maker, something like that, you do have the electrical outlet right over here to the side. If we take a look at some of the storage underneath, you'll see you do have a nice cubby hole cut out right there. And then you have some nice shelves running all the way through here. Then over to the side, underneath the three burner cooktop is an oven. So if you want to do some baking, you can certainly do that. And underneath the oven, you have additional storage right here. If we go back up top, you'll see you have nice storage right over here. Good pantry storage, you don't have a style in there, so if you have larger items, you are able to sneak those in there. And over to the side is your microwave with your fully functional hood that has a light and a fan directly underneath it. Moving further back a little bit, you get into the Norcold fridge freezer combo. I like Norcold products, they are built right here in the US. This one does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. You'll also see they didn't waste the space up top here. A lot of times manufacturers just put a panel in there. Uh, they did not. They did uh, allow you to utilize that as storage. And then same thing right here on the bottom. You know, it's not huge storage, but again, they didn't have to put anything there. I like the fact they put a door on there so you are able to utilize that. If we take a look in the back, these of course are the bunks. Uh, in the industry, it's what we call a double over double, meaning it's a double wide bunk on both the top and bottom. Teddy Bear Bunk Series, so they're a uh, nice soft mattress here as well. And you have a 300 pound weight limit, so that's really nice if you wanna you know, have two kids per bunk or if you have older kids, maybe teenagers that are going camping with you. These are big enough that they can sleep here as well. You do have a window on both the top and bottom bunks as well as LED lights too. Also, you have some uh, storage here. So if we lift this bunk up, you'll see you have a little finger hole right here. You can lift that up and that will give you access to this storage area underneath. Now, normally, you know, they would go all the way through here, but as you'll see when we go outside, that other space is reserved for the outside kitchen. Uh, for added privacy here, if the kids go to bed before you do, you do have the curtain that you can close off there. Then right here in the back is the bathroom. Right down on the floor is your foot flush lever toilet there. Uh, you know what, I'll sneak in here. I'll show you kind of the, the size so you have an idea. You know, you can see I do have good leg room here. Uh, I'm pretty wide in the shoulders and obviously, you know, there's really nothing impeding. So I have a lot of space up top here, which is really nice too. Uh, right next to me is the tub shower. So I like having a tub shower in a bunk model because if you have, you know, little kids that you're uh, still bathing them, you know, they're not taking showers. You're able to still give them a bath while you're camping. Just to give you an idea of height, I'm six foot. As you can see, I can actually stand underneath the ceiling here. Uh, you know, you probably have another inch or so right here. This is your vent fan, but it's nice that it's directly above the shower. So, you know, if you need to quickly get the moisture out when you're done showering, you can go ahead and turn that guy on. Right over here is your hand wand, makes it nice and easy to wash up. Uh, you know, it, it, a lot of people get freaked out when they see this because it doesn't have like a, you know, like a backer or anything on here, like your plastic backer, but this is intended to get wet. So you don't have to worry about it. It's not going to, you know, mold on you or anything like that. Right over here is your countertop. Uh, you'll see the countertop does have a nice extension here. I really like this, especially with the electrical outlet there, because it kind of gives you a place you have to put your hair dryer down, you know, your curling iron, something like that. They have some nice space. And you'll see you have other space for your hand soap, things like that too. Obviously your sink is right there. Underneath here you have a little bit of storage, you know, good place to put some extra toilet paper, your uh, toilet chemicals, things like that. And then up top here you have your mirrored medicine cabinet. 
Right outside the bathroom here, you have nice versatile storage. So we open this up, you see you have nice tall storage up top there, a shelf built in right over here, and then two full extension ball bearing drawers underneath. Now obviously you can use this for a multitude of things. If you want to use it for extra pantry space, you can do that. If you want to use it for kids clothes, you can do that as well. Uh, again, the option is completely up to you. If we take a look right up top here, you see you have some extra storage there, nice little cutout, cubby hole, and then storage all along right up here above the dinette. This all is one large section right up here with your three separate doors. Right underneath, you have a LED light there. You actually have LED lights uh, in the ceiling of this entire RV, which are nice because they use a fraction of the power and don't put out near the heat as your standard incandescence. And then right here is the dinette. So this is you know where you'll be sitting down as a family, enjoying your meal together, you know, enjoying a cup of coffee. It's another place to sit and hang out as well, you know, if you want to sit there and uh, you know just have good conversation, play a game, things like that. And it does drop down into a bed as well. So you know if both bunks are taking, uh, taken and you have an additional guest that needs to stay, you can remove these legs right here. You'll just pull them out of the flange in the floor as well as the flange in the table here. Then the table itself will sit right here along these rails. At that point, you'll take these back cushions, put them on top, and that will create your sleeping space. Now granted, it's not huge, so you know, for an adult like myself, as I said, I'm six foot, you know, I'd probably have to curl up a little bit to sleep there, but uh, you know, for a smaller child, or again, if you do wanna curl up a little bit, uh, that is at least an extra bed. Also underneath, you will see that there's an electrical outlet down there too. So if you need to you know, work on a tablet, laptop, something like that, or maybe just charge your cell phone while you're sitting at the table, that is where you can do it. You definitely have a large window right there too to let in some natural light during the day. Uh, as far as the TV, on a rainy day, if you want a TV, this is where it would go right here. Uh, they did put the backer in the wall so you know where to mount that TV. And you know, if you want to put it on a swing arm, you can certainly do that so you're able to watch it in bed. Um, you know, or maybe swing it out and around so you can get a view from, you know, the one dinette or back in the bunks, kitchen, something like that too. The cool thing about it though is right over here, this multimedia center you see, this unit is not only a radio and CD player, but it's also a DVD player. You see these little audio video jacks right here? All you have to do is plug those into the back of the TV and you can watch a movie nice and easily. Uh, this unit does control the speakers inside as well as the speakers outside and it is also Bluetooth capable. Right up here on the ceiling, you see the TV connections there too, so you know where to plug them in. You have a privacy curtain here, so you can close this all the way off. Um, the, the thing I like about a curtain, you know, right here in the bedroom, one is on a smaller floor plan like this, it helps keep it nice and open. If you build a wall here with doors, it gets really cramped in the bedroom. Uh, so I like the fact that this is open, plus it helps maintain uh, light weight. You know, so if you're towing this with like a larger SUV, something like that, uh, you know, you don't have the, the weight issues uh, associated with a lot of the RVs. So definitely some benefits there. Uh, if we take a look right up front, this is the, the bed. You have a queen size bed here, which is great. Uh, both sides, you will see the nice nightstands there too. You have excellent space there. You have a drawer on both sides. You also have an electrical outlet on both sides. And because the nightstand is so big, that's a great place. You know, if you have to sleep with a CPAP machine, you wanna bring it camping, you definitely have the room to do it there. Or just charge a cell phone, a tablet at night, something like that, obviously you can do that too. Then right up above, you have mirrored wardrobe. You can see you have hanging rods on both sides. So you have a sufficient place to hang your clothes. The shelf along the top there, and then a LED light right underneath for reading. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features of the Coleman 215BH. Starting right up front here, you have your two 20 pound propane tanks with the cover. Nice and easy to access those tanks. Just undo the two thumb screws here. You can open up the cover and get down in there. Then right behind that, you'll see you have rails for your battery. And coming up the front here is black diamond plating, which helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that will get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Right around here to this side, this unit does have solar prep. So if you want solar, if you plan on doing some boondocking, all you have to do is buy the portable panels, plug them in right there, and it will begin to trickle charge your battery. Right here is the pass-through storage. If you take a look inside, you'll see it is nice and open despite the line of boxes we have in there. Uh, it is a large pass-through. You have a big door both on the camp side as well as the off-door side there. So any items you put in, you can retrieve out from either side. 
Making our way back a little further, you'll see this unit does come equipped with a power awning. Touch a button to roll that out, same thing to have it go right back in. It does have an adjustable pitch for rainwater on there, and you'll also notice you have an LED light strip underneath. So that way all you have to do is flip a switch, you have light here at night. You don't have to get up there and hang up your Christmas lights. As we move a little bit further here, you will see you have an electrical outlet right outside the main door. Uh, that's convenient too if you need to charge a cell phone or want to set up a table or something or your electric griddle, crock pot, whatever it may be. Uh, it's always nice to have that external electrical outlet. Right over here is your fresh water inlet. Again, if you're going to be doing some boondocking, you want to put uh, water in your tanks, this is the place you'll fill the fresh water tank. That one is a gravity fill. Underneath the awning, uh, you will also see you have two outside speakers. When we were inside, I had mentioned that the multimedia center in there controlled the speakers out here, but I also said it, uh, that it is Bluetooth capable. So if you want to sit under here, underneath the awning, you're able to do that, uh, control the music right on your smartphone or iPad, whatever device you may have, again, as long as it has Bluetooth. Right down here, you can see the wheels there. This is great. They are uh, easy lube axles. That's important. Uh, it's a lot easier on the maintenance side for you, you know, instead of having to constantly repack the bearings. Uh, the easy lube axles uh, have a grease zert on there so you can pump grease into it. Now mind you, you know, you do have to lift it up and spin the tire, do some other things. You don't want to just pump grease in there. It, uh, it won't uh, operate correctly. So you do want to make sure you still know what you're doing, but again, it is a simpler process. You'll also see you have nitrogen filled tires, which are great because that way hopefully it'll hold that tire pressure for a longer period of time. Uh, that's something that's very important when it comes to RVing. You always want to make sure you check your tire pressures before every trip for obvious safety reasons. Right back here is the outside kitchen. This is one of the reasons I love bunk models. Uh, you know, I personally love having an outside kitchen, if nothing else, for this right here, which is the outside refrigerator. You know, I've taken a bunch of coolers, uh, even in my Yeti cooler. While it works great, it's still kind of a pain to have to deal with ice constantly. When I have a refrigerator out here, I can keep my beer cold, my kids pop cold, condiments, everything right in there. Right up top, you'll see you have a little bit of storage up here too. So, you know, if you want to put some cups out here, maybe some paper plates, things like that, nice, quick, easy access. And then right over here, you have the sink top. This locks into place just like so. But you see you have a your little sink right here, hot, cold water access. This is simply a wash basin, you know, nice, easy system. Fill it up like that, you can just dump it out wherever. Um, you know, and honestly, it's, it's not a bad system. A lot of times you'll see where you have like a plumbed sink that pulls out, but oftentimes it's just a tube that runs down and out anyway. They're generally not plumbed back into the gray tank uh, unless, you know, again, it is a stationary sink. The other thing I like about this, look at all the prep space you have here. You know, if you're one that likes to do some outside grilling, you have to have a place to prep your meat, stuff like that, you have this outside workspace. Now you may be thinking, an outside kitchen isn't a kitchen without a way to cook. Don't worry, right back here you have your arm for a grill. So a nice grill mount, this just swings out and around. There is a Coleman grill that comes with it that sits right on top. Again, that way you can sit out here and cook and you have the nice prep space right over there. You'll also see right up top here, this unit does have backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera on here, it is a lot less expensive to have it installed as everything is already pre-wired. All right, folks, that wraps up the review of the Coleman 215BH. Thanks for watching. I'm Ian Baker. And for more information, check out rv.campingworld.com.